Hello everyone, this is Prince Eleven Seventy Zero Five. I just want to make a quick video prediction um, between Nonito Donaire versus Toshiaki Nishio of Japan. This is for the WBO IBF Super Bantamweight Championship of Nonito Donaire. Um, I'm very excited about this fight because uh, it's very rare in boxing right now that uh, you see two of the top three or top five um, fight each other. Um, uh, Nanito Denaire and Nishoko have one thing in common. They, if I'm not mistaken, they both lost their second fight as a pro. Uh, Nishoko lost by a fourth round KO against uh, a, Jap a Japanese opponent. Uh, uh, Nanito Denaire lost to Rosendo Sanchez uh, by an unanimous decision. Uh, Nishoko, um, after his KO loss, all his losses came by unanimous decision. Um, um, Nonito Denaire last fought Jeffrey Matibola for Jeffrey's belt, IBF belt. Uh, some fans and critics, media's media, said that um, Denaire didn't perform well uh, after moving up in 122 division because. Um, it, uh, but uh, I was very impressed on how he handles uh, Jeffrey Matabula because those who really knew Matabula uh, knew that Matabula possesses a very awkward style in fighting. Uh, he's a very tall fighter. He throws, uh, uh, I mean, he have a awkward style. Uh, but uh, Nonito Denier was able to hurt, to hurt uh, Matabula. He was able to uh, knock down Matabula and was able to uh, broke his jaw during the 11th round. Uh, Nishoka on his side last fought uh, 2000, um, uh, a year ago against uh, Rafael Marquez. It was a close fight uh, but the judges gave the, the decision to uh, Nishoka. Um, um, I think uh, despite um, I don't agree with some of the fans are saying that this will be an easy fight for uh, Nonito Donaire because Nishoka even though he sometimes he ga, uh, get knocked down by his opponent he was able to uh, get up from the knockdown and then was able to knock, knock down or knock out his opponent and was able to uh, win the fight so that tells a lot uh, about uh, Toshiaki Nishoka's mentality as a fighter. Um, uh, Nonito Denier, uh, both these guys haven't lost in years. So, um, my prediction is I think um, uh, Nonito Denier will win basically because he's a lot faster than uh, Nishoka. I'm thinking that um, if Rafael Marquez was able to hang with uh, Nishoka and was able to give Nishoka a close fight um, and given the fact that Nonito Denier is a lot faster than Rafael Marquez so I think uh, Nonito Denier uh, advantage is uh, his speed and if uh, like I said earlier uh, Toshiaki Nishoka uh, lost uh, his um, losses came by unanimous decision. So, um, looking at, um, I mean, Nonito Denier is very hard to win, or you cannot win, it's hard to win a round against uh, Nonito Denier because Nonito Denier is very active round by round, he likes to throw punches. So, um, if he hurt uh, he gets uh, his timing right or he timed uh, Nishoka right um, I think Nishoka will be in trouble but I won't be surprised if Nishoka because Nishoka is a, a very handed, a heavy handed fighter also I won't be surprised if Nishoka hurts uh, Nish uh, the near during the fight um, but I still got um, Nonito Denier winning by a, a mid Mid round, round, uh, mid round, uh, knock down, knock out, or a uh, unanimous decision. So, but 
again I won't be surprised if uh, Nishoka was able to stand wobbled or hurt um, Nisho uh, the Nair during the fight um, that's my prediction so what do you guys think of, think of this fight um, subscribe um, comment um, looking forward to this fight and I'll make my next prediction uh, about um, uh, Tyson Marquez versus Brian Villar. This is Prince 1170 Out.